Buenas noches y bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Linda Camate. Soy la directora de comunicación para North Beth Israel Medical Center and Children's Hospital of New Jersey. So I was so excited about the opportunity to have this incredible premiere of the showing of the food insecurity documentary that we've been working on for a long time now. You know, tonight was just the unveiling of what has kind of been like our baby over time. This is an opportunity for us to really understand that food insecurity is so important. And it was also our partners, those of you who are in our community, our farmers, our entrepreneurs, all of you helped us to be able to come together and get this started. We started this journey about 12 months ago and now look we are here. What brings me out here tonight is to uh, learn and glean uh, from this film and see what's happening about food safety especially in our urban community. This event is very important because we want to shine light on a topic that's underrepresented, underreported, but very significant in creating a healthy community. I think it's a great opportunity to take this on as a project because food, um, people may think that food is, is readily available to everybody in the community, but it's not. It has like you can see the good and bad because it's not one or the other, it's a fusion of both. My goal, I would say, is to inform more young people on how they can be healthier and how they can be a part of the solution to making things better in their community, and especially when it comes to health. Well, my experience making the video was actually very fun and insightful. I met a lot of people that I didn't even know did the work in the city that took to feed the people living inside the city. The event was wonderful. It was very informative and it was great to see so many young people involved in combating hunger and food insecurity. We get to make certain that we are supplementing, not supplanting, any of the community efforts that are already currently underway. We don't want to just parachute down on communities and say, look, this is what we can do here. This is supposed to be about helping them to build capacity helping to enhance their neighborhood and built environment, helping to ensure that we do things collaboratively so that there is, in fact, a long-term, sustainable improvement to the structure and to the system that they all live under. 